My name is Pastor Rajesh Kedave. God bless you and your family. And today we are going to talk about love. Love is a wonderful thing. Bible says God is love. So today we are going to talk about the true love. We are going to talk about the perfect love. We are going to talk about the greatest love story that ever happened on this planet Earth. So it's going to be wonderful today. And God is going to bless you. God is going to bless your family. And before I start the message, let me share you some things which I have seen. Once I was traveling in a local train, as you know that in Mumbai, we spend around 2-3 hours in a local train every single day. So we do a lot of traveling by local trains. And we come across different kinds of people. So once I was traveling, I saw one couple. And that couple must be in 20s. I don't know whether they were married or not married. But they were together. But the couple was a unique couple. They were enjoying the presence of each other. They were loving the presence of each other. They were having a great time with each other. They were busy in talking with each other. They were so engrossed in themselves. They were not bothered about other people. And all the other people were looking at them. Now it's not that they were doing some unlawful thing, but they were so much enjoying the presence of each other. They were so much eng engrossed with each other. They were cracking jokes. They were, they were laughing. They were having a great time. And the people in the compartment were excited, were happy to see them. Because when we see the love, hey, everyone feels happy. And other day, I was, I saw other couple. But that couple that must be in uh, 30s or 40s, and they were married. But this couple was totally different from the first couple. When I saw the first couple here, they were enjoying the presence of each other. But when I, when now, I, when I see this couple, this couple was totally different. They were so much tense. They were not looking to each other. They were not talking to each other. The husband was looking in the north direction. The wife was looking in the south direction. They were so much tense. They were not even looking at the eyes of each other. So it seems that they were not enjoying the presence of each other. And that's the dangerous thing. You know, we see some couples who are enjoying the presence of each other. They are having a great time with each other. But some couple we see that they are not enjoying the presence of each other. They don't talk with each other. They are so tense. So that's the dangerous thing. When we stop enjoying the presence of each other, that's when the relationships break. And that's why so many divorces, so many relation breaks up are happening because we stop enjoying the presence of each other. See, love is all about enjoying the presence of each other. Because if you don't enjoy the presence of your partner, if you don't like the presence of your partner, it's a dangerous sign. Love is all about enjoying the presence of each other. Now back to the message. So today I'm not going to talk about the love between Romeo and Juliet. I'm not going to talk about the love which happens in the Bollywood movies or in the Hollywood movies. I'm not going to talk about the love between man and woman. I'm not going to talk about the love between a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Today, I am going to talk about the vertical love. The vertical love is the love of God to man. And it's very important. See, why 
there is a breakup in the relationship why the divorces are happening because we don't understand the vertical love we don't understand the love of god towards the mankind and when we don't understand the love of god then we cannot love other people once you understand the vertical love then you can enjoy the horizontal love but if you don't understand the vertical love the god's love then it's very difficult to love each other so we are going to talk about god's love today god's love is so wonderful god's love is perfect god's love is a true love and let me tell you that if you are searching for a true love if you are searching for the perfect love that can be only found in god see human love is is a conditional love it depends upon lot of condition but god's love is unconditional love so if you are searching for love today if you are searching for true love that can only be found in god let's go to first john chapter 4:10 the bible said this is love if you if you want to know the definition of love if you want to know what is true love if you want to know what is perfect love hey it's important to go through the scripture human love is not the true love human love depends upon a lot of conditions if you do this i will love you if you do that i will love you but if you don't do this i'm not going to love you human love is not a perfect love the love between a man and woman is not a perfect love the love between husband and wife is not a perfect love the love uh, be- uh, the love between a boyfriend and a girlfriend is not a perfect love yes there is some love involved in it but that's of different dimension hey that's not the perfect love God's love is the perfect love. So if you want to know what is love because because the thing is that sadly we have abused the name of love. Humans have abused the name of the love because humans as a humans we cannot love each other. Because our love is not perfect. Our love is not pure love. Our love is not true love. it depends upon lot of condition if you love then i will love you that's how we love each other but if you want to know what is true love hey just focus on this message focus on the scripture it said this is a love not that we love god some people say oh i love god but hey that's not love there are so many people when god gives something to us hey we love god but something happens in our life then we stop loving god so don't say that we love god our love towards other human being our love towards uh, towards god is not is not the true love it depends upon a lot of conditions when things are happening in our in our life hey then we love god then we sing praises to god then we pray but if thing doesn't happen then we start blaming god There are so many people who blame God. So don't say that I love God. Hey, our love is not perfect love. Our love is not the true love. But it says this is a love not that we love God, but that he loved us. Hey, God loved us. That's a perfect love. He loved us so much. And that's a true love. that's a gapi love it doesn't depend upon the condition some pastors are preaching that if you obey the commands then god will love you hey that's a wrong preaching god loves you it doesn't depend upon your performance it doesn't depend how holy you are yes god wants us to be holy but it doesn't depend upon that he loves us despite of all our weaknesses i know in my life so many times i failed god so many times i moved out from god but i but still god loved me and god loves you if you're feeling discouraged today if you're feeling how i can go to god because i've committed so many sins in my life but let me tell you one thing that god loves you so much and he is all waiting for you he just want you to come 
because he has not stopped loving you he loves you unconditionally his love is agape love and and that's the true love my dear brothers and sisters if you're searching for the true love hey you will not find the true love in human being though we have to love each though we have to love each others but true love is only with god but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins the bible says god loved us but he sent his son to save us from our sins he sent his precious son lord jesus christ god himself to die for us on the cross of calvary so that we could be saved today so that we could be saved today from our sins but let me tell you brothers and sisters one sin is enough to send us to hell sin is dangerous and that's why lord jesus christ came he shed his precious blood for us on the cross of calvary and because of which all our sins are forgiven our past sins our present sins and our future sins we are free from the punishment and condemnation of the sins so god loved us so much in order to save us from going into hell in order to save us from burning in hell god sent his precious son god allowed his precious son lord jesus christ to be a sacrifice for us on the cross of calvary can a can god die for human beings whom he has created yes he did he died for us on the cross of calvary hey that's the greatest love story god dying for us on the cross of calvary that's the greatest love story and there cannot be any love story greater than this so that's why i mentioned that the greatest love story is not the love story between romy and juliet it's not the story which you see in the movies it's not the love story between a man and woman hey it's a love story of god towards us let's go to john 3:16 for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life he says what for god so loved the world hey god loves you and me it's very difficult to describe the love of god because i have seen in my life every single day i experience the love of god i know so many times i've walked away from god so many so many times i have not not following god but still god loved me and i experience every single day the love of god and of course you also must be experiencing the love of god every single day in your life and today we are living in this world despite of all the sicknesses all around is because god loves us he loves us so much the bible says god so loved the world that he gave his one and only son hey that's lord jesus christ the god himself that who believes in him shall not perish shall not perish means he will not die in hell but have eternal life and eternal life is spending thousands and thousands of thousands of years in heaven with lord jesus christ so god loves us so much that he gave his one and only son jesus christ and who believes in him hey will go to heaven will not go to hell my dear brothers and sisters with our own good works we cannot make it to heaven we need god and that's why god sent his son lord jesus christ and if you believe in lord jesus christ if you believe what jesus did for you on the cross of calvary hey you will be saved accept the love of god it's a free gift it's not something you have to do lot of things religion teaches us that hey you have to sacrifice this you have to go there you have to do this you have to do that but according to the bible hey it's a free gift you just have to accept the love of god 
you will be saved god loved us so much he sent his son lord jesus christ for you on the cross of calvary just imagine god dying for you on the cross of calvary oh this is a greatest love story no love story can be near to this love story my dear brothers and sisters we get so attracted to the love story that happens in this world but let me tell you hey this is that's not a true love story that's not the perfect love story depends upon a lot of condition there is so much of imperfection it's important to look for the true love which comes from god let's read romans 5:8 but god showed his great love for us by sending christ to die for us while we were still sinners 2000 years ago lord jesus christ died for us on the cross of calvary and it says that while we were still sinners christ died for us today if you are feeling discouraged if you are feeling ashamed of what you have done in your life hey God loves you so much. The Bible says yes when when you were still sinners God died for you. Christ died for us on the cross of Calvary. He loves you. He wants you to give a hug to him. He wants us to wipe your tears. It's time to accept the God's love in your life and see how your life changes. This is the greatest love story. God dying for us on the cross of Calvary to save us from going into hell, to save us from our sins. My dear brothers and sisters, sin is a serious issue. It can destroy our life. It can send us to hell. But when you believe in Lord Jesus Christ, hey, your sins will be forgiven. You don't have to suffer the penalty, the punishment of sin. accept his love today cling to him he loves you so much no human can love you the way he loves you sometimes we don't see that love but he loves you so much he's is he's all near you he wants us to be happy he wants us to see the joy in our life he wants us that our relationship to go well and therefore he said that don't separate what god has joined together god wants us to enjoy the presence of each other god wants to enjoy the presence of your partners because when you don't enjoy that's where the anger comes that's where the abuse come that's where the divorce come that's where people leave each other because they have stopped loving the presence of each other you have to enjoy the presence of your partner in your life you have to enjoy the presence of god in your life hey mighty things will happen in your life this is a true love not the love which you see in the in the movies this is a true love god coming from the heaven and dying for us on the cross of calvary and as you know that after 3 days lord jesus christ was resurrected now today he is with us he is in heaven and one fine day he is going to come back to take us to heaven hey what a love so my dear brothers and sister true love is found in god and once we understand the vertical love we can love horizontally if we don't understand the vertical love we cannot love horizontally understand the god's love when we understand the god's love we can love the people let's pray almighty and awesome father god thank you so much for this time thank you for your mercy lord jesus thank you for your great love you died for us on the cross of calvary i pray all this most holy lord savior jesus christ amen